Hello and welcome to the Director's Recital Prize 2020. I'm Kenneth Taylor, head teacher of St Mary's Music School. Due to the coronavirus outbreak earlier this year, we're presenting this year's competition a little bit differently. For the first time ever, we're delighted to bring to our pupils, their families and friends, the school community and our many supporters an online Director's Recital Prize competition. To make this possible, we've joined forces with the Royal Scottish National Orchestra's digital team and are bringing you this year's competition from the new auditorium in the RSNO Centre in the heart of Glasgow. St Mary's Music School provides that first critical step in a journey that sees our pupils go on to perform at the very highest level, contributing to the music community throughout the world. This competition gives our pupils a taste of what it's like to give public solo performances in a competition situation, which is vital experience for aspiring professional musicians. This year marks the 20th annual Director's Recital Prize competition. Taking home last year's prize was violinist Marie-Sophie Baumgartner with a performance of Sanson's Havanese and a movement from Isai's Sonata No. 4 for solo violin. The very first winner of the competition back in 2001, Philip Hyam, is now principal cello with the Scottish Chamber Orchestra. Philip has sent us this message. Hello. I would like to wish all participants in this year's highly unusual Director's Recital Prize all the very best for their live performances at the superb RSNO Centre. Lucky things. I do remember clearly how this competition, along with a couple of other things that nearby, fell within a really important time for me where I seemed to be consolidating my commitment to playing the cello long term. I was starting, with the help of my wonderful teacher, Ruth Beecham, to aim decidedly higher. And that's, I think, a big part of what these competitions are largely about. Um, I feel I hardly need remind St Mary's pupils of this, but it's never really about competing with each other and rather about how you push yourself. Uh, one thing that's clearly different though this year, and I hope it's unique to this year, uh, is with the preliminary stage. And I can well imagine that's presented fresh and obvious challenges. Um, some of you will have no doubt spent many, many hours making your video recordings and probably discarded many fine versions of your, your pieces chasing after the ultimate version. I know how difficult that can be. I had to do a bit of digging again with the help of my, my unflagging teacher to find out what I actually played. And after she consulted her notes, I was very amused to find that I'd played a Boccherini sonata, which turns out to be the very same piece I've been practicing this week. 20 years later and still working away at it. But that's one of many reminders I've had over the years that of what is so enriching about performance of music and serious study of it. It really can be thought of as lifelong. And you might work as hard as you can for an occasion such as the DRP and you always hope that that work will bear fruit on the day. But the real maturing, the real artistic growth often happens afterwards, shaped by your experiences and the outcomes. Anyway, without further waffling from me, I would like to resend these good wishes and best of luck to our four finalists. In your situation, I realize it might feel like you're playing to an imaginary audience, but it is a real one watching in the end, who is every bit as excited about hearing you and what you have to say musically as it would be in more normal times. So enjoy yourselves. Good luck. Like Philip, many of our former pupils can be found playing with international orchestras forging independent pathways in classical jazz and contemporary music and inspiring the musicians of tomorrow through their own teaching. St Mary's is Scotland's national music school, one of five government-supported specialist music schools in the UK and the only one of our kind in Scotland. A passion for music lies at the heart of everything we do. Now, on to the competition. In observing the current lockdown restrictions, we're not able to provide piano accompaniments for two of our finalists who play monophonic instruments. We feel this would give those playing polyphonic instruments an advantage as they don't require any accompaniment. So to level the playing field, we will be naming two winners of the Director's Recital Prize 2020. One for our polyphonic and another for monophonic instrumentalists. 
This year's four finalists have been selected from a total of 25 online entries from our senior pupils in S5 and above. Three of the finalists will be giving their performances here in the auditorium and will be allowed to record two full-length run-throughs of their chosen repertoire, picking their preferred performances to be sent to the judges. A fourth finalist who lives in Santander, Spain, and therefore unable to join us here today, has sent in her own recorded performance. We will also have a performance from the winner of last year's intermediate competition, violinist Ocean Tanius Miller, before announcing the winners of the 2020 Director's Recital Prize competition. Let's meet this year's competitors. My name is Pavlina Gusheva. I am in S5 in St. Mary's and I'm a pianist. I started playing when I was four, that's when I started getting lessons and prior to that my family had a piano at home so I would just really gravitate towards it and every day I would just go and try and play and, and I was fascinated by the sound. I can't imagine myself not being a pianist. For me it's just the most complex instrument and the way they can move me, no other instrument can. Last year I competed in IRP, which is the stage uh, lower, and this is my first year competing in DRP, so I'm one of the, the youngest. I feel very fortunate. I'm just taking it as, as an incredible opportunity to be able to film my repertoire and just show people why this music is so incredible. Hi, I'm Kaliana Scott. I'm 16, I'm in S5 and I play the flute. I've been playing for around seven years and at St Mary's I play in the St Mary's School Orchestra. I play in two chamber groups per year and outside of school I play in the National Youth Orchestra of Great Britain. I love how connected it is to the body, that it's using air from your own body. I think it's really so expressive and very similar to the human voice. I play in the British Flute Society competition every year and I've played in Edinburgh Competition Festival classes but the, uh, but the DRP is probably the biggest competition I've been in. It's incredibly exciting. I remember in my first year there was a flautist in the final and it's incredible to be in the final as she was. It's, it's in incredibly exciting. Hello everyone, my name is Sofia Ross. I'm an accordionist from Spain and I'm now finishing my last year at St Mary's Music School. I started playing the accordion when I was six years old and I have now been playing for around 11 years. For me personally, I really enjoy going to competitions because I feel that they are a chance that you get to prepare yourself for a really important performance. And But also to meet all the people that really share your same passion for music. Uh, I think that's one of the best things you can ever experience. My name is Phoebe. I play the oboe and I'm in my last year at St Mary's. I've been playing oboe for just about seven years now and I play with the school orchestra. At outside school I've played with NIOS, uh, the Edinburgh Youth Orchestra and this year I'm playing with the National Youth Orchestra of Great Britain. I especially love Baroque music for the freedom it gives you to explore your own musical ideas as well as a composer's original intentions. I would normally be very busy with end of school activities, end of school concerts, and those have been cancelled. So just to have something in the calendar that I have to work towards is really exciting and welcome. Now that we've met our finalists, I would like to introduce our adjudicating panel. One of our competition judges, Alistair Mackey, is a former chorister pupil of St Mary's. He went on to pursue a very successful career as a professional trumpeter, working with London orchestras. Today, he's the chief executive of the Royal Scottish National Orchestra. It is with his entrepreneurial spirit for the RSNO and our shared values of excellence and engagement that this new partnership between our organisations was forged. Alistair is joined in the adjudication panel by Joe Buckley, a director of St Mary's Music School and chief executive of the Dunedin Consort, and Peter Whelan, Artistic Director of the Irish Baroque Orchestra and Ensemble Marseillaise. Um, it's a real privilege to be judging the Director's Recital Prize again this year. Um, I had the privilege of doing it last year and I was just astounded by the quality of the musicianship across the whole competition. It's quite an onerous task in, in, in many respects. 
Could be four wonderful musicians all playing very different instruments um, and using different techniques to express themselves. First and foremost, I want to be engaged by the performance. The character of the performance, the personality of the performance, the beauty of the sound, uh, the way you shape a line of sound, for me, is one of the things that makes a performance compelling. What I find that your audience remembers is whether you delivered it, whether you said something very special to them in that moment. And I think, for me, that is the key thing that I'm, I'm looking for today. And I suppose what I'm looking for is a musician who can communicate through the camera, who can speak to me and tell me something about themselves um, so that I learn something about them that I didn't know before, that they can take me on a journey with them. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, to getting started. Now let's get started and hear our first performance of the competition. I will be playing four short pieces. The first piece will be Rahman and Kachita Blow, Opus 33, number four. And the next one will be Rahmaninov Prelude, Opus 23, number three. And then another Prelude by Rahmaninov, Opus 32, number 12. And I will finish off with Prokofiev's Suggestion du Belik. It's not about wanting to win, it's about just giving a performance. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just you're there to perform and you're there to make the music alive.
Up next is 16-year-old Edinburgh-based flautist Cleona Scott. I'm going to be playing Telemann Fantasia number 12 and Feru trois pièces for solo flute. I think the flute can not always be everyone's favourite instrument and I think these two pieces demonstrate so much of the flute's capabilities and I hope they really enjoy my programme and the way I play it. Thank you. 
Our third finalist is Spanish accordionist Sofia Ross. Sofia is unable to be here today, so has sent her own recorded performance. Thank you. 
Our last performance in this Director's Recital Prize competition is 18-year-old oboist Phoebe Barber, who is in her last year at the school. I'm going to be playing Telemann's Sixth Fantasy, originally for solo flute, the last of Britain's metamorphoses, Arethusa, and finally two pieces for solo oboe by Ross Edwards. I hope the judges take something personally from it, I don't know what that will be, but I hope I can give them something that they haven't heard or seen before.
Four fantastic performances from four fabulous young musicians. But before we announce a winner, staying true to form, we have a performance from last year's intermediate competition winner, violinist Ocean Tanius Miller. Choosing a winner is never an easy decision, and I'm glad I'm not the one having to make it. With that said, let's hear what the panel had to say about our finalists' performances. I think it's fair to say that there's really very little between them. I mean, we, we've, we've deliberated off camera about who we think should win for the polyphonic and the monophonic 
surprises. But um, I think it's fair to say, although we're in agreement, there's there's not very much to separate them. And I'd like to kind of stress how impressed we are with the level that these musicians are reaching at this age. I mean, it, it's it's really extraordinary when the sort of things, the sort of critiques that you're that you're making are the tiny, tiny details, the same kind of tiny details that you would level at professional musicians here. Um, but um, nevertheless, we do have to choose. Uh, and I think um, we can announce our winners. So um, the winner of the monophonic prize for this year um, goes to Cleona Scott, um, who played the flute for us today. Um, and I think we'd just probably like to reiterate um, the kind of all round performance that she gave to us today that was both kind of technically assured and very musical. Um, and she just she kind of offered the whole package and that's what sort of saw her claim the prize today. I think on, on any given day, any one of these four musicians could have won just about any competition you want to put them into. Uh, the level was was exceptional. And as you say, off camera, we had a lot of deliberation before before we came to any decisions. And I think that's testament to, to the universally high, high level of what we heard. But yeah, there was just, just I think uh, Cleona just just captured the moment, just through a fantastic performance out of herself under difficult circumstances. And uh, yeah, really engaging musical playing, wonderful stuff. Congratulations. And on to the polyphonic prize. Um, well, we all enjoyed both of the performances, but I think the one who really captured us, who kind of kept us engaged, you know, from start to finish and brought all the kind of colour and range and musicianship that we were looking for um, was Sophia Ross, who played the accordion for us today. And we were all unanimous that um, she would take the prize for the polyphonic instruments. Um, Peter, did you want to say a word about her? Yes, I know, just um, uh, again, that she really um, blew me away with the, something very unexpected. And um, it, it just goes to show that no matter what instrument you, you play, um, you know, you, it, the most important thing is to communicate with your audience and to, uh, yeah, to, sh to show your character no matter what instrument you're playing. And yeah, just just to echo that that it it, it was so close but between everybody. And um, competitions are incredibly different, uh, difficult things. And you, you know, we just have to um, take them as as they come. Like uh, in everybody's life, you'll do several auditions, and some sometimes you'll have a good day, sometimes not. It's not the most important thing in the world. But just today, um, 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 yeah, I just found Sophia really um, shone through with a very varied. Um, imaginative program um, um, well communicated. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'd like to say congratulations to everyone who took part, especially under such trying circumstances. I mean, um, I'm sure when this all kicked off however many weeks, months ago, and they were planning for this, they were not imagining they were going to be doing it um, to, to no one in the audience or to one person in the audience and, and to a, the panel of judges who are watching on a screen from different homes across the nation. But um, I think they all did a terrific job. And um, just to thank the RSNO Centre for hosting um, the performances, um, which is fantastic for them to be able to be to perform in such a wonderful hall. Um, and to all the rest of the team who brought it together and, and made the prize happen, which I know is really important for the students um, at the end of the year. So thanks everyone for taking part and thanks to both of you for joining me on the panel today. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of our finalists, panel members, and you for joining us for this rather different Director's Recital Prize, which the school has been most grateful to present in partnership with the RSNO. We hope to be returning to the usual live format next year and very much look forward to seeing you in a year's time. Goodbye.